You're still tuned in to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Now, the name Nyani Sotzedz, uh, of course, you know it. He's no stranger to local screens, having acted in many acclaimed Mzanti soapies, including Generations, and starring in the country's first dance film, Hear Me Move. But the world recently heard him roar across the screen as Simba in the masterfully executed visual album Black is King, directed and written and executive produced by the one and only Beyonce Nils Carter. Now, he joins us via video call this morning so we can celebrate his fantastic performance, his achievement, and also chat about what it means to fly the South African flag so high and what it was like working on this amazing project. Yanni, so thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to chat to us this morning. How are you? I'm so blessed, man. Uh, thank you for having me. Um, the country was probably everyone cheering in their homes uh, when you, many, uh, one of the many South African faces on that uh, visual album, came to the fore. What was it like seeing yourself there? Overwhelming, because um, up until like when the country saw everything, that's when I started to see everything as well. And um, I never understood the magnitude of how big it was and how special it was going to be until then. Yeah. So it was beautiful. Oh, I can only just believe and imagine that. But take me a step back, working on the set, working on the production, having to keep it to yourself as a secret for probably the longest time ever. Uh, what was that like, the experience of just working on an incredible production like this? It felt so effortless. It felt easy and it felt special. Um, everybody was just really designated and, and devoted to what they they were there to do. And and so you had nothing but um, that, that same energy to be in that space. And um, it just felt divine. Wow, man. Wow. So how did this opportunity come about knocking on your door? How did you get selected? Um, you know, to be honest, I was thinking about this last night. I was like, how... Uh, I still don't know. I still don't know. I mean, I, I keep speaking about how spiritual and how um, divine this project was, and it it definitely was. All I know is that the process was lengthy, and and um, the casting team went through a process trying to find um, the person just that felt right for the role. Yeah. And um, somehow my face, my image, found myself itself on the on the um, table, and um, I guess. The stars aligned, God said yes, and that's how it happened in my eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes it's just, you know, that divine intervention that you've got to love and give all praise to. Um, now, being South African, what did it mean to you to be able to be part of this tributary vision that celebrates black and African culture? It's special, bro. Um... You know, many South Africans, many black boys and girls, children, men out there, um, we we were all um, raised under this pressure to believe that we were less, had less, had less to give, and um, our lives less valuable. And to start telling these kind of narratives, is exactly what we all need to start changing that story and understanding that we have so much to give to the world as people of color. Man, hearing you speak like this, it not only puts a smile on my face, but it, it uplifts the spirit as well. And I've got to ask you this, uh, the question probably on everyone's lips is, what was it like just basking in the presence of Beyonce Knowles Carter? I mean, what is it like working with her? She's known to have an impeccable and very enduring work ethic. We've seen her in many productions before. You're like, wow, the work she puts in. But now, to be in her presence, talk to me about that. You know, being in the presence of someone um, like her, that's just has a clear understanding of her artistry and what it is that her artistry has to bring to the world, um, brought me to the point that she understands that her work is divine and it's, um, it's not only just something that she's doing because it's a passion and it's beautiful, but it's her purpose. And with her art comes messages, comes healing, comes opportunities for all of these things. And so that's why, for me, I was like, that's why she gets involved in every aspect of her work. That's why she gives so much of herself, because 
there is this very um, deep inherent understanding that this work that we do as artists, we are given the mantle to be healers, storytellers, narrative changes, and people that just bring about a new needed life to society, to people that are going to receive this art. And um, I could only soak up and learn and learn and learn, and it was such an honor to be um, around that space, around her, and watching her just give her magic to the world, and yeah. blessed be her journey. Absolutely. Did you get a moment perhaps to interact with her? Maybe she threw a couple of notes your way. Was there a moment of connection at some point between you and Beyonce? Yeah, man, she, she, like I said, she, she gets involved in every aspect of her journey, um, of her work and the work that she puts out. So she interacted with everybody um, and, and allowed everybody to feel welcome and to understand how important everyone's role is. And, and that's, that's, that's my, I guess, a fond memory to think back on. It's just um, how when she, she's there, she makes you feel um, like your role is important and she she, she invites it out of you that you bring your magic. Wow, man, wow. You've just made an entire legion of Beyonce fans across the world so jealous with that right now. Man, I've got to say, it's, it's an honor being able to speak with you and to hear you speaking these words so authentically and so sincerely. You certainly speak with the pride of a lion, if I may say so, and you've brought it out in all of us as well. Um, congratulations, my brother, on your fantastic achievement, and here is to more to come. Thank you, my brother. Thank you.